everybody, and welcome back to Command & Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath, and our featured matchup for the day brings us to the map Tournament Badlands. And spawning on the far left-hand side as the orange black hand, we have Masterleaf. And sliding over to the far right-hand side as the red GDI, as I lost track of where it was, we have Wookie Bird. So Black Hand versus GDI this time around, and going to be seeing a lot of this as we're getting closer to the Inca Open Tournament, which is going to be coming up here in August. Um, again, not a whole lot of information released just yet, as we're aware of, but you guys can head over to GameReplays.org, check out that thread for yourselves. Inca Paisa, a community member of Kane's Wrath, has been uh, kind enough to donate a lot of money towards a, uh, an event series, potentially, uh, that's going to be coming up here in August. But... Details are pretty sparse on that one. Uh, gonna let you guys know as soon as we know more about that, but not gonna worry about it too much for right now. But these guys likely gonna be preparing for that, so gonna be seeing a little bit more of the classic matchups. Gonna be seeing Black Hand v GDI, so should be an interesting matchup on this map. I haven't I haven't seen a tremendous number of games on this map, even though our last cast was in fact here. But it is going to be an an Operation Center opener here with an engineer so this should be interesting maybe the engineer is going to be used to grab away the tip spike um i'm honestly not sure what the engineer is going to be used for sometimes you will see somebody deploy the reckoner close to a structure and then use the flame to kind of cover up the engineer but if these guys are paying attention they will have their uh, health bars on and they'll you'll have an opportunity to snipe that engineer all the same but anyways it looks like the reckoner has been spotted here by wookie bert and he's going to be chasing that down with a pit bull uh, going to be using actually a Confessor Cabal squad to cut off that pit bull. So uh, actually two Confessor Cabal squads coming down through there. So really good pathing there from uh, from Masterleaf to keep his his uh, Reckoner protected here. And now actually we do have the Black Hand squad coming up here. So actually that engineer is going to be used to grab away the tip spike. As you can see, it is deployed on the backside of things. So Masterleaf using this Reckoner opener to actually steal away one of the tip spikes, one of the two tip spikes actually, and uh, now is going to be losing that Reckoner. So not necessarily the most effective Reckoner of all time, but will be taking a bit of a spike advantage for himself there, going up to three spikes versus just the one now against Wookie Bird. It will take him a little bit of time to recoup the cost for that Engineer, but I think it's still going to be worth it over the long haul if he manages to hold on to it for a long time. So Wookie Bird going to be looking to maybe equalize that here in the near future, but he's already packed up and gone for the Expand, already has his MCD deployed, and you can see Master Leaf has got the exact same thing going on on the other side here. So pretty... Uh Pretty lackluster early game, aside from just the uh, Reckoner opener to steal away that that uh, Tiberium Spike. It's pretty standard between the two of them. And actually, we do have a Secret Shrine down now for Master Leaf as well, so I'm going to be a bit aggressive here. And let me just double-check the factions here. Yeah, so it is going to be Master Leaf playing as Black Hand. I just wanted to make sure I had that right and make sure that I wasn't ca casting this backwards. I did that in the most recent uh, Tib Wars tournament. And, uh, yeah, felt pretty dumb about doing that. But anyways, we won't worry about it right now. Hand of Nod being kept around. Likely just going to be pumping out some infantry as soon as uh, that Secret Shrine is done upgrading. However, it doesn't look like any upgrades being purchased at the moment, which is kind of interesting. Maybe uh, maybe one of the upgrades is already done. Let me see if I can find a Confessor Cabal squad. Uh, let's see. No, actually, no upgrades done just yet. So very interesting. Unless he went Blue Flame first, which would have been odd. Uh, it doesn't look like anything's been purchased on that secret shrine just yet. So may have been a little stalled for cash, but we won't worry about it too much. Master Leaf knows what he's doing. In the meantime, War Factory coming down from Wookie Bert on his expansion. Going to be getting out some APCs in preparation for the likely infantry transition here from Master Leaf. And uh, actually selling off his Hand of Nod. So maybe that was just being kept around to protect himself against a potential follow-up after that Reckoner was sent out. And a Flame Tank now coming out as we do see Tier 2 coming out from Master Leaf. And actually, there's a couple of flame tanks out on the map, and I think this one's been spotted. I think Wookie Bert would have seen that. And he's got a rifleman squad inside of that APC, going to be headed up to the north. And I'm honestly not sure if Wookie Bert's seen this flame tank. It's uh, it's pretty close, but a couple of pit bulls along the top side of the map just going to be scouting for any additional units. There's also a rifleman squad up there as well. So nice scouting here from Wookie Bert to make sure that he's not caught with his pants down. But both of these guys going to be grabbing themselves some blue tib here and going to be feeling pretty good about, good about that. However, Master Leaf going to be getting caught out here. This flame tank going to be coming in. Shouldn't get too much damage down. Takes that, just a small burst from that flame tank. Brings that power plant down to about half HP. But not going to be worthwhile there. Whoa, lots of flame tanks coming out. So maybe it was blue flame. And there it is. As we say it, it comes online. 
And those blue flame flame tanks are absolutely insane. But four tanks now. I think they traded one for two against the Predator tanks. And you guys can see just the raw power of that blue flame coming out. And now they are headed straight up the guts. And the question is, can Wookie Vert stop this? I think, honestly, even with the blue flame, as long as he's got a couple of Predator tanks and he's cutting this out, he should be fine. Uh, he's going to want to have to... He's going to want to pull back now. He doesn't want to be taking those on front one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. And now one of the flame tanks will go down. So I don't know how successful this flame tank move out of Master Leaf is going to work, but it is pretty interesting. We've seen a lot of blue flame coming out from Master Leaf. It's, he seems to be uh, preaching the blue flame lately. So it w will be interesting to see if he's able to make that work. If he's able to get a flame tank in and around uh, all of these forces, I think he's going to be in great shape. But it looks like he is being cut off across the map. We do have a flame tank coming around across the bottom of the map, and it's going to get shut down. And uh, actually, a harvester might take some damage here. I don't know if flame tank squeezes by, but I think it's going to get cut off by the remainder of these forces. More of those units are going to be rallying down to the south. But meanwhile, it looks like the flame tanks coming up straight up the middle have managed to make their self known here. And some infantry coming up through the middle as well. Going to be coming through, and uh, it looks like they're going to secure that center green Tiberium field. And actually, Masterly pulling back a couple of these damaged flame tanks back to his war factory for repairs. So Master Leaf just continuing to spam out the infantry and flame tanks, and this is a very deadly combination because the the infantry is just so tanky as long as they're able to stay alive. But Orca's coming out here from Wookie Bird, so looking for an opportunity to counteract those flame tanks. And Orca's going to be able to do a great job, however, not going to be great against this infantry, but the the uh, the APCs with AP ammo will be able to clean that up without any problem at all, and actually going to be pretty good against these flame tanks as well if, once they're in large enough numbers. Wookie Bird feeling confident enough to expand towards the center and going to be going for that center green Tiberian field. So very interesting indeed. Flame tanks still continuing to rush forward. However, these APCs actually very, very squishy to that blue flame. So they're going to cut and run. Don't want to lose all of those APCs to a couple of flame, tank flame tanks here. As we do have some infantry moving across the top side of the map. So Wookie Bird doing a really good job to stop all this aggression here from Master Leaf. And he's actually trading really, really cost effectively right, right now. So I think he's going to be feeling pretty good about this. Flame tank coming up to the top side of the map as well. Likely going to be sending those two flame tanks to burn down this Tiberium spike. Get, him spell, get himself a three spike to zero advantage. But actually the Orca is now rallying up there. And uh, despite being low on HP, they're not going to take any return damage. Those flame tanks have absolutely no way to, to protect themselves against aircraft. But more infantry coming on down here to the south. And we do see the uh, charged particle beam upgrade done here for or uh, Master Leaf, but actually we did see a refinery burnt down here, and actually the MCV under a little bit of pressure from this one flame tank, so the relentless flame tank production coming out from Master Leaf starting to uh, wear thin on Wookie Bird's patience here, but actually no, he's going to lose his construction yard. This is, this is going to be really close. He's going to have to send these APCs to defend this, and I think he was expecting this flame tank to die a lot earlier, but it just didn't. And now we do have the Orcas flying through the middle. Likely need to be seeing these Orcas going for some uh, Harvester Harass. But the uh, Flame Tanks continuing to be spammed out here and more infantry being spammed out as well. So just no change here from Master Leaf as far as the unit composition. And finally selling off one of his, one of his refineries on his main field. Looks like Wookie, Wookie Bert rather, has already done the same. So very, very interesting game so far here. <laughs> A lot of APCs out from Wookie Bert. And this is actually going to be pretty good for him. I think having all those APCs is going to be beneficial. And uh, now the flame tanks continue to get picked off here by these orcas. So orcas are actually very, very good in this situation, just due to the fact that they have uh, so much map presence and and they just are so good against vehicles. So uh, very good combination against uh, against those flame tanks. Anyways, infantry from Master Leaf going to be running backwards here, and realizing that they can't contend with that number of. APCs, especially with AP ammo. MCV pulled very far back here for Wookie Bird. Likely has a refinery ready. He's able to get it over the rift there. I was concerned about his build radius, whether or not he could actually drop on that side, but it looks like he's managed to find just the right position there. Harvester on pretty low HP going to get cleaned up here by a couple of APCs. No, it doesn't look like Wookie Bird's going to commit into that. Instead, he's going to reverse move into this field. Going to be taking a lot of damage from these shredder turrets with the charged particle beams. However, going to likely need to see... I don't know, he might be able to hold this off with Shredder Turrets, but he's going to take quite a bit of damage. These Harvesters getting shot up pretty good. That AP ammo, even though it's not great against vehicles, with that large number of, uh, of APCs, they're going to do some serious work. 
And uh, just coming through and shooting up those harvesters, not really taking them down. So maybe going to be looking for a follow-up attack. But oh my god, the refinery has been burned down by another couple of flame tanks coming up the, through the middle. Just unrelenting here from Mass Relief. And now they're going to be burning down a refinery as well. There's just no way to stop this. And uh, Mass Relief, or Wookie Bird rather, trying desperately to kill this off. But a flame tank comes in with one HP. Finally gets killed off by a rogue shot from that Predator tank. Gonna manage to take that down. And we did hear the Redeemer come out for Master Leaf as well. So despite spamming out those flame tanks, he does still have enough money for that Redeemer. But the Harvester Harass coming in in the form of APCs. Very unconventional for Harvester Harassment here. But it's just the units he's got on the field. And uh, needs to put the pressure on that Eco. Just keep Master Leaf from continuing that spam. Because those flame tanks are just so hard to keep track of on a map like this. Uh, so, so much open area. So much opportunity to flank in with just a single flame tank and burn down your whole base. That's the problem that he that he uh, risks here, and honestly, I don't even think an obelisk drop would be uh, sufficient enough to, to stop that from doing too much damage. But now it looks like Mookie Bird going to be using these uh, these APCs to come around and snipe his own Tiberium Spike, just denying that from uh, from Master Leaf. He's going to kill off of Master Leaf's Tip Spike on the bottom side, and now that's going to even up the spike uh, the spike situation here between Master Leaf and Mookie Bird. Just a single Tiberium Spike on both corners for both players here. APCs continuing to shoot up these flame tanks, and they should manage to clean up the rest. And actually, we have an, a heroic orca, so a heroic orca coming out from Wookie Bird. Those orcas really starting to pay dividends. It looks like actually a mantis going to go down here as well as it was trying to chase down the remainder of those orcas, realizing that they're just such a threat. Wookie Bird, or rather, Master Leaf getting out a couple of those orcas. A couple of those mantis. Jeez, I have these guys completely backwards because I know Wookie Bird as a uh, as a black hand player, but interesting to see him playing GDI this time around. Redeemer taking a lot of damage from just a number of Predator tanks here, and will actually go down, so a bit of a missed opportunity here for Master Leaf. Uh, he's taken down a lot of Predator tanks, but I think he's just lost that Redeemer for pretty much free. Uh, does he have his MCV still? Yeah, Wookie Bird still has his MCV, though he's been, uh, he's been struggling to get up another refinery on this expansion because of the unrelenting pressure here from Master Leaf, and now we have follow-up Bike Buggy coming in. Just going to continue to add insult to injury here as he's continuing to keep Wookie Bert on the ropes. And Master Leaf, in the meantime, has not gone for any kind of an expand. It looks like he's starting to send his MCV forward a little bit. And uh, War Factories have been slowed down as far as production goes, but that Tier 2 is still online, so can potentially see more and more of those flame tanks. And that's exactly what's going to be on the cards for him as well. And now it's just up to Wookie Bird to keep his uh, pressure up. That heroic Orca still flying around. Does need to be careful though. Doesn't want to take too much damage. A little bit of overkill on those those uh, those bikes. But the heroic Orca does survive. One Orca being traded out for that. But now uh, another Orca already getting better in status as well. So lots of ranks on those Orcas is going to be pretty bad for Master Leaf if this game goes on for too much longer. In the meantime, it looks like... Wookie Bird just playing defense for now, realizing that he needs to get an expansion up and running. I think he needs to commit his forces to the center here, needs to defend this field. However, uh, Flame Tank going to be running in here, should be able to burn down an upgraded power plant, and uh, likely going to get the tier 2 for his trouble as well. But no, he's going to go for the MCV, going to cancel the construction yard here. And no, Wookie Bird doesn't react in time. He tries to repair it, thinking that the Orcas were going to get in range, but loses his MCV. And that's going to be actually pretty bad here for, for Wookie Bird. I don't know how he's going to recover from that because Master Leaf now moving to the center. He's going to get that, that green Tiberium for himself. And this is really where the majority of the eco is. Master Leaf does still have a bit of eco left on his first expansion as well. Whereas Wookie Bird has pretty much nothing left in the way of eco. So the War of Attrition here not looking too good for Wookie Bird. And the question is, does he even have a War Factory? He does still have a War Factory, so he, can, he does still have a build. If he gets out another uh, another MCV, he's still alive. But it's definitely going to be a tough situation for him here as Ma Master Leaf has massed up a huge amount of, uh, of infantry here that's going to be running forward, looking to keep the pressure up. And only a couple of APCs here to try to defeat this. And then both of those APCs going to get chewed up right now by that infantry as they're running forward. Purifying Flame on the infantry as well. And now a couple of Pred tanks up on the top side of the map continue to put pressure on Master Leaf's Harvesters. He's going to be forced to pull one of them off the line. So doing what he can to keep Master Leaf from, uh, from ecoing up too hard here. And actually back on his original main, Wookie Bird has managed to completely catch Master Leaf with his pants down. Completely annihilates that base. But uh, that's, that's actually a lot of tip. I mean, Master Leaf is missing an opportunity here to get some uh, get a refinery on that field. However, it looks like it has been 
defeated by this force. And now Master Leaf may lose his next expansion as well. His force is way too far out of position, so Wookie Bird may have picked Master Leaf clean in this situation. A lot of uh, watchtowers down here for for Wookie Bird, so his MCV is rebuilt. He's back in this one now, and he gets a Re Reclamator Hub down as well, so Marv potentially on the way in the near future. And Master Leaf, he may have been defeated here, and that's going to be it. Fire Sail comes out for Master Leaf. That is going to be it. Wookie Bird comes through with the victory. Man, just unrelenting power from Master Leaf coming out in the form of those flame tanks. Blue Flame just so, so, so good early game. But Wookie Bird just seemed to have his number. He got up those Orcas and they were able to fly around the map and catch those random, uh, random flame tanks that were kind of cruising around the map there for Master Leaf. But Master Leaf, he definitely did a good job there. He definitely gave Wookie Bird a run for his money. A very intense game there. 15 minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. Not a super long game, but just relentless efforts from Master Leaf to keep Wookie Bird down in the dirt. But Wookie Bird just knowing the unit compositions to stop it. And uh, honestly, seeing seeing APCs killing off Harvesters is pretty interesting to see. They were just in such large numbers, and uh, it was pretty much the only units that Wookie Bird had aside from those Orcas, and he wanted to keep those on uh, on flame tank harassment duty. So, solid effort from both players. Nice to see uh, both Wookie Bird and Master Leaf playing. But Wookie Bird gonna walk away with a win this time around, and uh, that's gonna take us to the end of the game. So I hope you guys all enjoyed it. We should have another video going up on Thursday. And that's it for me. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.